Hello, this is Dustin with Home Mender, and today we are looking at a chain link fence. Basically runs through a forest. It's got a lot of old mighty trees there. There's no way that we're ever gonna get a privacy fence there. We're gonna put one there anyway. I'm gonna show you how. Let's get to it. So basically we need a sleeve to go over the existing posts. These are super sturdy, and I think we can go right over top of them. First, we wanna measure the height of our post. It's got about 36. Next, measure the width of your fence. Two inches pinches the fence and the post. All right, so I take my treated four by four post and I mark three quarters off of each side. And we'll put one down here too so we can get a straight line. And basically just creating a notch for my existing post, which is three foot tall and two inches wide. Strike a line. And the other side here. Measure three feet, because that's how tall my post is. Now we're gonna flip it over, make the same marks on the other side. Three quarter, three foot, and draw a line. Cut with a skill saw. Flip it over. Now we use a paddle bit. Saws all. All right, it's looking good. We've got three quarters on both sides. We're gonna throw this guy back in between just to keep it straight until we're ready to set it. Take our pre-cut post. Right down next to the post. Next, we're gonna take our cutout piece, notch out for the top rail, and fill this gap. Flip this inside. Check for level. Screw them together with deck screws. For extra stability, you can zip tie it to the existing post. Looking good. Next, we're gonna run three two by four treated stringers from post to post. If you're doing it by yourself, you can put you a screw. Prop your board up on your screw. Level. Easy. Now we level our pickets and nail them off. Now your next picket should be level. Just check for level every 10 pickets or so. Make sure your height's right and nail it off. And done. So it's looking awesome. We just built a fence through the forest and I think I just heard the property value go up not having to look at that junkyard. So for Home Ender Inc., this is Dustin. I hope you learned something today and if you did, don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.